All right, so I wanted to make this video to essentially address something as far as the anti-aliasing issues that I've come across with Radeon GPUs in Alan Wake 2 that I believe Remedy needs to fix because they're forcing no other form of anti-aliasing other than DLSS on NVIDIA and FSR2 on Radeon. So at native, it uses DLAA for NVIDIA and with Radeon, it uses FSR2. There's no TAA or anything like that. Now, on my previous 6800 XT video, I had someone say that I must be looking for these issues or have my face up against the screen or they can't see it. And YouTube is smothering over some of the issues that I've noticed. So this video is kind of made to address that and to do a side by side comparison and to zoom in. So let's go in. Let's go through the settings first. OK, so we're running the game at 1440p. Um, we'll go over the settings right here. So as you can see here, FSR2 native there is no taa this is the only option and we've maxed out every single setting except for the path tracing we are going to look at path tracing because there's some issues there as well okay and this is our geforce gpu here and you will see that you can choose fsr2 here as well but they have dlss so dlaa it's what you would use if you had an nvidia gpu so all the settings here are on high as well with path tracing disabled so right here at the beginnings where i started noticing these issues so radeon's is going to be on the top now youtube is going to smother through some of these uh issues but you can notice the flicker in the puddles and we're going to zoom in here with the point being so that you can see what i am seeing uh, because like i said youtube will smother over some of these issues it will add blur due to compression you won't be able to see it but it's so evident when you're actually playing the game especially if you're playing in an oled uh, which is can create a much sharper image than traditional LCD. Now look at these fences and the aliasing on the truck and the trees behind as you pan the camera. It, it becomes worse. And as I showed on my 6800 XT, putting FSR to quality actually improves the image quality. That's kind of what leads me to believe that maybe FSR2 isn't working because we've seen FSR2 at 100% full uh, native resolution in Starfield and it works actually really really well this here is another one that pops in your face as well look at how unstable the image is just just sitting there and then moving the camera yeah I mean there is it's not 100% stable on Nvidia either but it's kind of how it should be so I mean this being a heavily Nvidia sponsored title I can see them prioritizing Nvidia obviously it's kind of how it goes with these sponsored titles um, it happens on both sides but the fact that you can't run the game natively without these uh, aliasing issues popping up in your face is just not cool and it, it needs to be fixed so now there's also another thing is that every now and then I do get some people commenting essentially fanboys from both sides I, I experience it is that you know they try to imply some sort of a of a bias or something because that's how fanboys cope with uh cope with reality right if they don't like something they essentially imply some sort of a malice or or bias or whatever i i mean i love pc gaming i love pc hardware i i'm a fan of good image quality i've kind of invested in that because i like it personally so that's kind of why i make these comparisons i could care less who makes the gpu it could be some no-name company as long if the product is good and i like it it appeals to me it does what i want it to do and i feel the value of it is worth it i buy it it's as simple as that if you buy the right thing for you you will never feel the need to fanboy over it or try to focus on trashing the other side to justify your purchase it's how i see it that's why fanboyism is stupid it's insecurity driven behavior i don't care if it's nvidia i don't care if it's amd but I do buy both because I like to try and kind of make up my own mind. And there's positives and negatives to both sides, right? So that's that. And I know it's probably not going to convince any fanboy because fanboys are emotionally attached to brands. So to them, it's either you are with them 100% or you're against them. But that's irrelevant. The ray tracing. So this here is with transparency to high on both GPUs and I'm showing the settings here so it's essentially reflections and it does look very good on uh, Radeon as well but it is noisier now we've seen that AMD sponsored titles they'll use 
AMD denoisers and NVIDIA sponsored titles that use NVIDIA denoisers. My conclusion on this, and I'll talk more about this on my 7900XDX look at the game, is that it's not really worth even bothering with it on Radeon GPUs. I mean, even on RTX 3000, I know the 3080Ti did it pretty well in this town, but it gets more demanding when you go into the woods. This game has been designed around RTX 4000, uh, shader execution reordering, and all the advancements NVIDIA's made with uh, the ray tracing cores. So that's that's essentially what's happening. So I wouldn't even bother. I think the hit to performance is pretty high, and there's also other issues that pop up when you turn on path tracing on Radeon GPUs, and I will show that on the 7900 XDX. Anyway, guys, this is just a very short video I wanted to make, uh, just kind of point these things out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't be addressing fanboy type of people, but it just kind of, it, it is kind of frustrating sometimes when pe you show people something that you come across and then they try to present it as if it's your fault for pointing it out. And think about this, guys. If everyone was a fanboy of each company, we would still be stuck with FSR1 and DLSS1 because fanboys will never admit that there's any issues with either side. Whenever one side does something wrong, the fanboys will defend it and vice versa. It's just kind of how it goes. A, a reasonable mind, a reasonable consumer, a proper enthusiast consumer, right, cares about the industry being better, games being higher quality, and kind of why we point these things out so that they get fixed. Right? I mean, it's nice that they have FSR2 in the game, but clearly something is not right as far as the native uh, aspect of it goes. It shouldn't be this flickery. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one.